Smooth Jazz, B98.7, video on demand. Smooth Jazz, V, 98.7. It's Ken Navarro with Stone Soul Picnic. And in addition to Ken's great original stuff, you have some great covers like that. Well, that was the fifth dimension, right? Y- yeah. And it, well, it was written by Laura Nero, um, who wrote uh, When I Die and a, a lot of hits for other people. Um, that was a blood, sweat, and tear song. But I, I rediscovered uh, Laura Nero's music, you know, around the time I was writing the music for Stone Soul Picnic, I mean, I mean for Love Colored Soul. Mm-hmm. And the song that most spoke to me with Stone Soul Picnic, and uh, partly because of the time frame. Love Cold and Soul was all about trying to capture a bit of that summer of love 60s thing, you know, that I went through. And uh, that song just somehow zeroed in on it for me. And, but I wanted to uh, contemporize it, you know. Uh, I think it's so important when you do somebody else's song, you find something that makes it you put your stamp on it, which isn't always easy to do, right. especially if you love something. Because if you love it, you you basically want to just do it again, and 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 pretend you're the artist. <laughs> you know, <doing. laughs> so so, but um, I, it was nice to hear it just now because it's been probably years since I've heard it, and it it it. Uh, it was very appealing to me, so I'm, uh, that's always a nice thing to have happen when you don't, for that moment when you're not sure who it is, you know that. Wait you like a minute. It. Yeah, because sometimes, you know, I, I don't always feel that way. I can be, I can't listen to a record when I finished recording it for months because all I hear is what I could have done better. It's, oh my it's just terrible, you know. There's no enjoyment. My wife is, you know, it drives her nuts because she just can't wait to have it in her hands and 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 devour it, and I'm just like, don't have me anywhere near it if you're going to play it. <laughs> Because I'll get upset. Aww, <laughs> now, know, your like wife that. and your kids are big supporters of you, I'm sure. They really are. Yeah, they, 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 it's been, my wife, I've known my wife since I was 13 years old. So, you know, music and me are, you know, she knew what she was getting into a long, long, long time ago. And uh-huh. my kids are just, you know, they, they enjoy the, you know, my semi-fame. They, they get certain things. I know my daughter's had a few low grades gone up at least one notch because, because she dropped my name and maybe a uh-huh. CD. You know, so whatever <laughs> limited notoriety I have, it's come in handy a few times. But no, they just they just like it, and they're um, they're both musically very broad with what they what they enjoy, and so I, I like to think I've had something to do with that too. And they are off to college now. You're going to be an empty nester. Yeah, yeah. My my son just graduated from Elon University, which is in North Carolina, and he's already working in his field. Um, he, he's a psychology major who will be going probably in a year back to to grad school. But he's working um, with uh, all kinds of different mentally disabled people for a year, and really proud of him. What, the kind of mm-hmm. work he's doing. It's it's hard work. Uh, but also he's just you know right out there doing it. But he also plays in three bands, and you know he's got rehearsals every night because of all these different bands, and so he's he's very involved in music that way. And then my daughter just graduated from high school, and she'll be going to Penn State in the fall, and that's going to be a little rough, I think, Aww. you know, just because, you know, that that daughter father thing, you know, I, I it's it's just I can feel it already. I'm trying not to think about it too. You're getting weepy, you know. Yeah, yeah, and it. it uh, my wife, on the other hand, you know, she's she's very stoic about it. It's, it's kind of amazing, <laughs> you know. She, you know what I mean? She she's just like, this is natural. This is what's supposed to happen. And I'm like, but everything's going to change. You know? So I, I'm looking forward to having that that time again, where it's just the two of us. We, we were married ten years before we had our first child, so you know, we had we know what that's like, and we're looking forward to that too. Well, I think it's awesome. Sounds like you have a great family, great supportive family, and we're going to talk a little bit about uh, actually um, your greatest Detroit experience as far as concerts um, as well, and we'll do that after we listen to, I think this is probably one of your biggest hits. I know it's one of my favorite songs. Um, Can you guess which one I'm going to play? Maybe. I I don't want to I, this is always a funny thing because if I'm wrong, then looks. Like, <laughs> no, I, so I would guess smooth song. sensation. It's, you are right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here's smooth sensation on smooth jazz, B ninety eight point seven. 